What's up, Troop? It's Unders, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this reverse reverb delay effect using the free plugin Lo-Fi Space. If you're watching this video on the day of release, Lo-Fi Space will be completely free from Waves as part of their Black Friday offer. The link in the description below will take you over to that so you can pick it up. However, if it's not, there is also a link below to give you a discount off of any plugin at Waves, even if it's currently on sale or on launch pricing. So I hope that helps you out in that regard. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so this is how we are going to create this um, on audio six here i've just got a tiny little chop just a tiny little pop and what i want to do is just make that rhythmically go on into the next part of the track just to give it its own character so let's bring up our mixer on here we're going to put a copy of lo-fi space so now we're going to have All right so we've got a little bit of a delay going on so they're out so we can hear it it's a good start. Uh, we can give it a little bit of reverb as well, make it nice and short, give it some space. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? I think the spring may be better. Cool. Okay, so let's turn the BPM over to host. We're at 174, and we're gonna have one over four on our time here. Now, our real trick to this is gonna be the feedback control just here, and we are gonna to wanna to automate that. So that's pretty easy for us to do. Do. We've got our track selected, press A for in logic. This might vary in your door. And we're going to go to lo fi space. We're going to go to echo feedback. And what we're going to do to control that, we need to automate it right around this time frame here. So let's grab our pencil tool. Let's give a point beforehand so we don't affect any of that. And then just here, we're going to ramp it up to say 100. And that's just going to help it go on forever and ever into that next part of the track. Now we can control how much it stays in with the percentage. So I could make it say 90 odd and it will fade over time. All right, so like by here, it's kind of faded out. What we can do if we really want to control that is just put a little point here again. Keep that around sort of the 92 mark, and then we'll just ramp this up again a couple of percent, and it will bring it back in for us. I might have to do it a little bit sooner before it fades out. That's just helping it hold in. Now this pushes all the way up to 200. You need to be careful you don't go all the way up because it will get wildly out of control. There we, go. we can just control it over that sort of time frame there. And then after this bit, so let's go back to where it was, just bring it out like so. So now we'll have Now that's going to work with any sort of part of the sound. So what I could do is what we'll do, we'll bring this sound over here and you know, we don't want to copy the automation. We want to apply to that new bit. So now we'll have something like this. we can have some fun with that by say putting a reverse on it and reversing it into that delay so let's really tweak up the timing now have that right and there we're not going to have it move into that higher percent till right at the last moment Take the gain down so it's not outrageous. Just say minus 12. Downside. 
and that's essentially it guys that's all we really need to do and we're using the free plugin lo-fi space from waves and just automating that feedback with a really simple echo and a bit of a reverb on there for character if we wanted to take the initial sound out entirely and just have the effect we could be a little bit cheeky and even push up the mix However, I quite like the blend in this instance. Hope that has been helpful for you guys, give you some, <clears throat> and has given you some ideas of how you can use lo-fi space in your music. Have a little bit of fun. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.